Hello people, I'm the Anime Hero and I review anime so you can enjoy it. To celebrate the release of Stardust Crusaders, I'll compile this list of stands, which I found to be quite disturbing and broken. However, as a rule, I'm not going to mention the stands of the main villains or the Joe Stars, such as Kidder Queen, Dirty Deeds Done Dirt Cheap, and Gold Experience Requiem, as they deserve their own character profile. Note, the numbering doesn't matter, as this isn't a search for the most unbeatable stand, but a video that serves to hype up the future episodes of JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. <laughs> Let's start off with the stand Green Day, whose ability consists of mold, which decays living beings on contact. However, for the stand to take effect, its targets must be below a certain altitude. A bit challenging to activate, but hey, if it leaves your opponents dead on the ground, then it's a poetic way of making people submit and kneel before you. This isn't exactly the most useful stand ever, as it requires for the user to be suicidal. That doesn't sound helpful, but definitely dangerous when the stand's target can also feel pain. Meaning, if the user dies, so will your opponent. Hence the name, Highway to Hell. Number 3, Death 13. Ever wonder how Freddy Krueger would be in an anime? Well, this is the closest thing to that, as Death 13 is capable of attacking people in their dreams, where stands aren't always welcome. When you can control reality against a standless opponent, you know you're fucking broken. Rally ho! If there's one stand that has a badass name, it's Metallica! The stand is pretty simple as it uses magnetism, which we all know what it does by now, yet what makes this stand so deadly is that it can control the iron found in blood, thus changing the blood into sharp objects, killing people from the inside out. Do I hear hacks? Jojo has always used vampires and zombies, but what if I told you that in part 6 Stone Ocean, we encounter invisible zombie alligators. <laughs> invisible zombies! Number 6, Enigma. A stand that activates by understanding a person's fear. However, once said target is scared, they can be sealed into paper. There is absolutely no escape from the inside, as the only exit is by unfolding the paper from the outside. That is assuming you aren't torn in half in which you die. The power of paper! Cream is the stand belonging to Vanilla Ice, making the pun, Vanilla Ice Cream. What makes the stand broken is that it can eat anything and banish it to another dimension. Also, you can't hit the stand user while he's attacking. Otherwise, you'll get eaten. Truly a stand that offers both offense and defense. Honestly, this is a bit more broken than... I'm gonna start cheating due to some stands being very similar to each other. In this case, the Darby Brothers stands, Ulcerus, and Autumn, along with the stand Marilyn Manson. Both the Darby Brothers have stands that steal souls, although it is most effective when enemies are weakened. Yet that shows some insight. This implies that the main function of the stand is to steal souls regardless of being vulnerable or not. So perhaps there's other methods to snatch souls outside of gambling, such as forming some sort of combo like Whole Horse and Jay Guile. Lastly, Marilyn Manson activates by making a deal where the user is allowed to cheat in the bet. What happens when the opponent loses causes Marilyn Manson to not only rob them of their money, but all of their organs. What makes this stand dangerous is that it cannot be stopped at all. You have to defeat the user. Good! And since we mentioned Jay Guile, let's go with the Hangman and Man in the Mirror. Both are stands which revolve around mirrors. The Hangman is a stand of light that uses reflections to move, however, it can only be seen through a mirror making it difficult to attack. And as for Man in the Mirror, it works similar to Death 13 Rally -ho! as it can drag people into a mirror. Also, the user can choose whether a stand can come in or not, which obviously the stand will... Why would they give you your stand? And to make matters worse, you're stuck in the mirror. Only the stand user can get you out, and breaking the mirror won't do a fucking thing. You keep saying things like, inside the mirror, or the world of the mirror, but there's no such world inside them. In your face, Garkyoi! Heaven's Door is a stand that requires close contact to work, but when it does, your enemy is under your control. For instance, aside from looking inside people's memories, you can also edit them by tearing out pages, 
Or, better yet, write sentences such as, you can't attack me, or make your enemy suffer. Hirohiko Araki, how's Roha not in your top 10 favorite characters? Why is Fatty in here? Heavy weather is a very strange stand, as it makes people see snails, causing them to think they're turning into snails, and they can't move. This is something out of Usumaki. Spirals! Anubis is not exactly all-powerful, but had the potential to be. Essentially, it's a stand without a user that is possessing a sword, who then possesses whoever touches said sword. While in combat, Anubis can learn from past mistakes and become stronger with every battle. However, the reason why I put the stand in this list is that Anubis can also possess stand users and use their stand. With this logic, he could be battling various opponents until he finds the stand he wants. Sure, it will be a challenge not to kill his desired body, but hey, once you touch the sword, you can't break free of his control. Notorious B.I.G. and Yellow Temperance These are both stands which seem to be based on the blob, as they consume anything on contact, meaning you can't touch them, even with your stands. Your only choice is to defeat the user, which is <laughs> almost impossible seeing how Temperance is used as an armor, and Notorious B.I.G. doesn't have a user. You need a lot of thinking to get away from these clutches. And speaking of clutches, these stands grab you by the balls. The Empress, the Lovers, Beach Boy, and Cheap Trick. All of these stands either act as parasites or cling to you with nearly zero chance of survival. The Empress grows in your body, eventually devouring you. The Lovers goes inside your brain. Beach Boy hooks to your heart. And Cheap Trick is getting a fucking piggyback ride constantly talking to you. And if anyone sees your back, you're fucking dead. Highway Star. This stand kind of gets overshadowed with the presence of She's a What got me curious about this stand is its range and speed. This stand will forever chase you without stopping for anything, and when it catches you, it will drain your life away and feed it to its master. Highway Star is just as bad as the Hangman, as you need a fucking motorcycle to just try and run away from this thing. Also, attacking it doesn't do much of anything. Here we have another trio of stands being Green Baby Stand, Little Feet, and Goo Goo Dolls. Each of these stands basically do the same thing, being the ability to shrink people and their stands. Not much else to say other than it's simple yet effective. Speaking of simplicity, this stand known as Jailhouse Rock isn't lethal, but very useful. Jailhouse Rock causes your target to forget things. To me more precise, it forces your opponent to only remember three things then immediately forget what they were doing. Let me give an example on how it works. Let's just say I was walking, then suddenly someone comes up to me and tells me his name and says you're under the control of my stand. Then I'll be like, what was I doing? Oh, I was walking. Then someone came up to me and told me their name. They mentioned something about a stand Then wait, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was walking. Then someone came up to me and told me their name. They mentioned something about a stand and wait, wait, wait what was I doing? Oh, I was walking, then someone came up to me and told me their name. They mentioned something about a stand that- Wait, what was I doing? Oh, I was walking. Basically, this stand affects your short-term memory, placing people in an endless loop of hell, and you don't even know it. Sethin and Grateful Dead are stands to perform the opposite effects. Sethin is a shadow stand that causes people who step on it to become younger, to the point where they can revert back to childhood, infancy, or even a fucking fetus. Grateful Dead causes people to get older, eventually riding away and snapping their own bones until death grabs them. Yeah, this stand really creeped me out. So this was a spoiler for part 5 due to a certain character on a wheelchair, so if you don't want to know, then skip ahead. Silver Chariot Requiem causes shit to happen. What it does is very bizarre as it causes people's souls to switch to another person, or to another animal. Its main danger is random chaos as anyone can be placed in a grim location. You still have your stand, but this ability is just disturbing as what the fuck. It can also cause your own stand to attack you. And here we are, the last of the most broken stands of Jojo's Bizarre Adventure. This one could be the most dangerous as it will depend on the realm of fiction. This is a stand based on a Queen song named Bohemian Rhapsody. This stand activates on a global scale, causing everything fictional to come alive. 
We're talking anything that isn't real, such as Disney characters, comic book characters, movie characters, works of art, novel characters, cartoon characters, and even anime characters. They all come to life at once with all their powers at their disposal. While the stand user can't control them, it's still chaotic. I mean, just look at what comics and anime have to offer. Can you imagine the death sentence the world has unleashing heroes and villains from any form of media onto our reality? It's hell on earth. Aside from getting caught in the crossfire, there's even worse danger. I really didn't understand it, this effect, but essentially, its main ability is to cause its victims to find a character they like and they have to become part of the story whether they like to or not. In which case, if the character dies that you like, then you're gonna die too, but I don't know, it's Araki stuff. Some of this shit doesn't make sense.